Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and get ready for another action-packed, stunt-filled episode of The Range Rider, starring Jock Mahoney and Dickie Jones. These two are just amazing horsemen, amazing stuntmen. They did all their own stunts. They did all their own horse work. These guys are just simply amazing to watch. Appreciate you coming by here. Have fun watching this, and we'll see you after the show. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. We can't shake them. They won't let up. These horses are about played out. Looks like there's gonna be some shooting. Let's get set. What is it? Water. Not more than a cup full. How do you think it got there? Well, it beats me. I figured the men were following. Probably stopped here and had a drink out of their canteens, spill some of their water. Yeah? Well, so what? Well, in this heat, it should take a couple minutes for it to dry up, and that's about all. Well, that means we're just a few minutes behind them, right? Right. Come on. Stopped here to make coffee. Water isn't even warm. They didn't have time to make coffee since they came up that trail, Dickie. I don't get it. It smells like an ambush. If we follow their line of thinking, we'll probably go blazing out of here right around that bend, right into their guns. Well, let's not disappoint them. Guns away. Cover him, Dick. Oh, my God. 
this silliness. Well, looks like the money's all here, Dickie. Now, you want to tell me who helped you with the robbery? Nobody. Maybe you can think up some answers in the Gunstock Jail. Climb aboard. on official business. I'm his daughter. And his deputy. His deputy? Well, is that so funny? No, I... I think it's a wonderful idea. Thank you. I'm fully authorized to act for my father in his absence. Well, then you can book these men. The charge is robbery. They held up the gun stock mine payroll. There's the evidence, and here's their hardware. Oh. Well, goodness. Who are you? He's the range rider. I'm Dick West. The Range Rider? I've heard my father speak of you. And you too, Mr. West. Just call me Dick. Well... That's that. Are you sure you'll be able to handle things here until your father returns? I'll be glad to help you if you want me to. Hello, Nan. Hello, Mr. Fowler. I hope you don't mind me looking in on you. Not at all. Well, I take it these are the men who held up the mine office, huh? Mm -hmm. These two gentlemen brought them in. Mr. Fowler is the manager of the local express office. This is the range rider, and this is Dick West. Well, what do you know? Say, it's a real pleasure meeting you. Happy to know you. Pardon the glove. So these are the bandits, huh? Well, they don't look so desperate to me. At least not from this side of the bar. <laughs> you know, Nan, when your dad gets back, he's going to be very happy to find that law and order's been going on as usual. Very happy to meet you, uh, Range Rider. Thank you. Pardon the glove. <laughs> Pardon the glove. Gunstock Sheriff's Office. Who? Marshal Collins. Well, there are two men who fit that description right here in this jail. Reardon and Brady are their names. Oh, you say you're starting to hear right away? Well, we'll be expecting you then. All right, goodbye. That was a United States Marshal by the name of Colin from Madeira. He wants these men. What for? He's got warrants for their arrest for robbing the mails. Busy little boys, weren't you? Is it all right if I turn these men over to the Marshal before my father gets back? I'm afraid you'll have to. You see, a federal warrant takes precedent over any local charges. I'll return that money to the express office if you'd like for me to. Uh, would you? I'd appreciate it. Here, I'll, I'll put these in the drawer for you. <laughs> Thank you. I guess I have to go, too. You know, Dickie, on second thought, Maybe you better stay here. Oh, well, if you insist. Somebody's liable to try to break those two outlaws out. That's right, someone might. But then if you don't want to, come Oh, on. no, 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 I'll be glad to. Uh, to give the deputy a little assistance. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing? Well, he wants me to send those things to his brother. It's all I own, my watch and this ring. It won't do me much good where I'm going. Okay, but never step to the bars like that. Well, why not? Well, it's an old trick. The prisoner reaches through the bars and, and, and he grabs you and you get your gun and, and, and your keys. Get yourself in a lot of trouble. Watch me. Put the stuff in my hat. Now we check it. 
I'd like you to send it by express to my kid brother Jim in Laramie. To uh, Jim Reardon? Laramie, Wyoming? That's right. Stuff looks okay. Thank you very much. I'll take this over to Mr. Fowler. Oh, miss, would you mind asking Mr. Fowler to put in a note saying, Ed hopes that you watch your step better than he watched his. Ed hopes that you watch your step better than he watched his. Thank you. All right. They haven't gotten back. They're in the Gunstock Jail. Range Rider nabbed them. Well, I didn't even know he was in this part of the country. Neither did I. That's where we made our mistake. Yeah. Reardon and Brady, though, did you see them? They're in jail. Didn't get a chance to talk to them. I will say, by the way, the sheriff's daughter told me that Reardon wanted to have to send to his kid brother in Laramie. Send to who? His kid brother. He doesn't have a brother. He never had a brother. Were well, you sure? Certainly, I'm sure. This girl, did she say anything else? Telling his brother to watch himself better than he did. <laughs> better watch it. The watch. It must be in this watch. Look, here it is. Marshal on way from Madero has warrants. So what? What does that mean? That means, Pete, that we're going to catch ourselves a marshal. Are you crazy? I don't know. I'll let you know later. Come on, Pete. United States Marshal. We already know that. Get down. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see what he's got there. A couple of warrants, credentials. Now for your badge. You've never been in gun stocks, have you, Marshal? What if I wasn't? Well, you're going to be by proxy. Meet Marshal Collins. This can get you in a lot of trouble, in case you don't know it. That's where you're wrong. In case you don't know it, this is going to get us out of a lot of trouble. Take care of our ex-marshal. Come on, come on, get up there. Your mother's gonna feel when she hears about this. Are you talking to us? I'm Marshal Collins from Madero. Yeah, I've been expecting you, Marshal. Uh, you come for Reardon and Brady, I presume. That's right, and I'd like to take them without any further delay. Here are my credentials. Here are the two federal warrants. Yeah, it's an order, I guess. What are you doing, Dick? Well, I'm turning the prisoners over to the marshal. He He showed me his credentials and, and, and the warrants. You can't do that. The sheriff's daughter's gone. She's his deputy while he's away. She's the only one that can book these men out. What, a woman deputy? Yeah, what's wrong with that? She just stepped out to get a bite of lunch. Well, I guess in that case, the only thing I can do is wait. How long have you been in government service, Marshal? Oh, let's see, uh, about 10 years, they said. Governor Barnes appointed me. Oh, then you know Jack Dover over at the Cheyenne office. Sure, yeah, know him very well. He's a real nice guy. Well, that ride over from Madero made me sleepy. Do you mind if I catch a few winks here? Make yourself at home. Come on, Dick. Hey, boss. He didn't ride that horse from Madero, Dickie. There's no sweat on it. Another thing. He said the governor appointed him United States Marshal. 
The only man that can appoint a United States Marshal is a president. Finally, he said he knew Jack Dover. He can't know Jack Dover. I made the name up. Well, then where'd he get his credentials and the warrants for those guys' arrest? Probably from a real United States Marshal. Well, where's the real Marshal? I don't know. Fine. How are we gonna find him if we don't know where he is? Did you ever hear a spider and a fly? Is that anything like the birds and the bees? <laughs> Go get your hat. Birds and flies and spiders and bees. Asleep. Oh, like a wet match. You know, it's funny he didn't say anything about that letter to the local bank. The letter? The one that authorizes him to pick up the $20,000 in gold and deliver it to the army post. Well, uh, maybe he didn't know that we knew he had it on him. Maybe he just didn't want us to know. Can't blame him. $20,000 is a lot of money to be responsible for. You can say that again. $20,000 is a lot of money to be responsible for. Well, I wouldn't want to be responsible for it. Me neither. Let's go eat. I'm with you. Did you hear that? I'll say we did. $20,000. Have you got that letter they were talking about? No, but I'm going to get it right now. Well, where is it? On the marshal that I got the rest of this stuff from. Got him tied up at the cabin. If anyone wants to know where I've gone, tell him I went to lunch. I'll be back just as soon as I can. You all set? You're supposed to be out of here by now. You went to the cabin. The cabin? What for? When I searched the marshal, there wasn't a letter on him. Hey, wait a minute. Prager stepping into a trap. We better get those keys and get us out of here. I said, get in the cell and shut up. All right, let's get the cabin. What did you do with that letter? I wouldn't tell you if I knew. Why? All right, you've had the advantage long enough. Get his gun, Dick. How is he? I'm all right. Spread out.
go get the horses. Yeah. Cover me, I'm going out. Looking for somebody? Drop your gun. Come on out, Dickie! Let's go for a walk. Don't worry, Nan. They're all coming back here. The real Marshal Collins is bringing them in. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, oh, oh don't, don't cry, Nan, please. <laughs> don't just stand there. Do something. What? Well, go get the keys off the desk and let her out. I'll go help the Marshal. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a terrible thing to have happen. Don't cry anymore, Nan. Everything's all right. I'm here. I do feel much safer now that you're here. Hey, is this a snap lock? We could be left in here forever. Range Rider! Get us out of here! Range Rider! Hey, buddy! Range Rider! Come on, come on now! Get us out of here! Range enjoyed The Range Riders starring Jock Mahoney and Dick Jones and remember it's brought to you free here on the internet by Wild West Toys and you can shop with Wild West Toys at www.toyguntown.com and if you're not already on the Westerns on the Web website come on by and see us at westernsontheweb.com hundreds of free family friendly Western TV shows and movies and also, I'd like to add this. 
Dick Jones is in this. Dick Jones was all over Hollywood back in the heyday of Hollywood. He was in movies with James Stewart, and with Errol Flynn, with Randolph Scott, John Wayne. Dick Jones was everywhere, all over the place when he was a boy in Hollywood. And he was a fantastic stuntman in this show you watch, a fantastic horseman. And Dick Jones is one of the nicest folks you'll ever meet. If he's ever at a festival that you have a way to go to, go and meet Dick Jones. It's worth the trip. Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry. Appreciate you joining us. We hope to see you get on down the trail. Y'all have a great day.